been going on for so long. Once upon a time, we were told that there would be a coalition agreement between the Jubilee Party and the ODM. I don't know the progress on that, but also, why does this Friday matter so much? Uh, because the uh, your party leader is saying that this is going to change the politics of the country and the race of 2022. This Friday is a big day, and I uh, believe that it will be the turning point for this country. Every nation has had its critical junctures. Uh, ours has been at independence. Ours has been the repeal of Section 2A, the promulgation of a new constitution. I believe this Friday is going to be another critical juncture in the history of this country. Raila Odinga has gone all over the country, and in every region he's gone to. He has gone with an economic, political, and social transformation blueprint. He did that when he came to Homer Bay. He did that when he went to Kakamega in Mombasa. So we expect that Friday will be a culmination where we are now going to have the national vision that Raila Odinga has mm -hmm. for this country. And that's why I'm saying it will be a critical juncture because it will define a future and a path for this country that if we follow, it will be a path to prosperity. We expect, because this is part of the Azimio La Umoja uh, drive, we expect that on Friday, we will be bringing together different interests, we'll be bringing together all regions of this country, and we'll also be bringing together various political parties. We have taken the position that we do not want to go with one behemoth of a political party, uh, like, unlike our competitors who want everyone to be part of the party. There are parties that perhaps have the same social justice agenda. Mm -hmm. There are parties that we share certain things with. So ODM, Jubilee, be it uh, any of the Fords or, or any of the parties that share the vision that this country needs unity, cohesion, and economic development, we will welcome all of them there. This then will set forth a movement uh, that uh, for the next eight months will be all over this country to ensure that uh, despite the travels that COVID has uh, you know, brought, the, despite the problems that this country has gone through, mm -hmm. we'll be able to rescue our country. So uh, this Friday, I, I want to urge all Kenyans, if you have an opportunity, please listen to the message, please listen to the promise that Raila Odinga has for this country. It is one of transformation, it is one of unity, it is one of cohesion, and it is one of true economic prosperity and empowerment. Senator